Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Re, and welcome back to The Infected. I've got something really special to show you guys. Check this out. All right. This is the town I'm at. <laughs> this is my base. This is the town I'm at. Please, please give me what I need. Finally. Finally. Awesome. That is just great. How freaking cool is that? Now, I went from town to town searching for that thing for a good three hours in real life, just trying to get that advanced work workbench tech. Um, I went to some places that didn't have it. Things went bad. I reloaded the game continuously. I did get some tech off camera besides that. Let me show you the tech I've got now. And this is what we're looking at. So the only tech I don't have now is the battery, the lamp, the stove, and the chemistry station. I really need that chemistry table. But I've got all the rest, and that is freaking awesome. The thing that's going to hold me back now is going to be plastic. Because I can't make plastic until I get the chemistry table. So, you know, it is what it is. I wanted that advanced workbench, and I got it. Um, it was taking a while to get it. I didn't want to do another three episodes trying to get that thing. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go out. Let's do a quick, you know, run around. I'm going to find it. I'm going to record it. And I'm going to splice it into today's episode, which is what I did. Now, today's episode is going to be about infrastructure. I'm also going to start thinking about defenses because um, the attacks that come in are no joke. And one defense I have set up, and I don't know if this is going to work. It very well might. I'll save the game before the attack comes in in case it doesn't work. But what I can do is right before the attack, I can jump up here and try and kill the enemy with uh, with bows. Bows and, bows and arrows. Uh, try and kill him with arrows. And we'll see how that goes. I don't know how well it's going to go. They might tear my base out from underneath me. Uh, the the uh, vampires could be throwing that stuff at me. I don't know, but that's one defense I'm going to be going for. Another defense I'm going to be going for is a better spear. Now, I went ahead and made it a couple of these bone spears, which is awesome. Uh, but I would like to make the upgraded spear, which is going to be my weapon of choice. And it's going to be a steel spear. So we're going to need a steel spear tip. Which is a steel ingot in the anvil. No problem. No problem. If I could just... Wait, steel. Oh, crap! I'm thinking of iron! I don't remember how to make steel in this game. <laughs> how freaking funny is that? I... Oh, okay. Alright, steel. I think... Isn't that like, um, lead and something else? Let me see if I can find it. Steel is lead ore and iron ore in the anvil. I can't believe I forgot about steel. That's insane. Now, did I cook all my iron ore? Yeah, I did. Son of a... B. Shouldn't I have a chance of getting iron ore out of that... Uh, no, that's cobalt. Can you not get iron ore out of the... Uh, ah, I don't think you could get iron ore out of the extractors in the caves. Now that I'm thinking about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch all of these to... Oh, this is, this is full AF. I'm going to switch all of these to five minutes. All right. When I put these on five minutes, I'll have a chance of getting iron ore. Um, did I loot anything when I was out? No, I didn't think so. I just drove from town to town looking for tech. I, I, I Originally, I was looting stuff, but then so, I, I reloaded the game and it was a cluster F. Um, but yeah, we'll be going out and vi visiting more towns in the future. That's for sure. It's just uh, I just wanted to get that advanced workbench. And we got to get some steel. I, I was thinking of iron. It was steel. And I was thinking of iron. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, if you want to steal, if you want to steal pickaxe, if you want to steal, you know, um, axe, if you want to steal spear, you're going to need steel. I did make a pickaxe head out of something. What, what did I? Wait, there's iron tools? I thought they were, wait, hold on. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. Oh, okay. So this, so the only thing made out of steel is the spear. So I only need one piece of steel. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is... I made this by mistake, by the way, at one point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all this stuff off. Oops. I'm going to dump all this stuff off. Go. And I'm going to get this middle one going as well. Uh, five minutes. Going good. Uh, five minutes going good. Five minutes going good. All right, that stuff should be good for a while. Let's just go ahead and dump that in there. All right, awesome. So now that we have the advanced workbench, and I do have the advanced work workbench right here, uh, just so you guys can see a little bit better. Got the advanced workbench right here. I can now make a steel pick, or an iron pick. It's weird that this that the weapon is steel and all the other tools are iron, but 
All right, so we just need a stick. I'm going to go ahead and make the iron axe head, too, which is three iron ingots. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And there's the axe. So I will be upgrading both of my tools right now, which is going to be fantastic. I'm not going to want to get rid of the tools just yet because you have to be able to sharpen your iron tools and steel tools. And I don't have that bench yet. Um, I think I can make it, but I'm not like, you know, 100% on that. There we go. Steel tools, baby. Or sorry, iron tools. It's going to be really hard for me to like not say steel, I guess, apparently. Let's go ahead and chop down a tree. So it's not any faster or anything like that. It's just going to take less hits. And now that he kind of fixed the speed tree chopping, this thing is much better. Although there's still a way to speed tree, tree chop, it's still not as fast as it used to be. So the iron tools are going to be uh, very, very welcome. Very, very useful. Very helpful. I got my iron ore. They did produce iron ore pretty quickly, too. Uh, and then once it got the iron ore, I put them back on stone. Because I need stone more because I need iron. Somebody said that running this thing is, like, really raising my light value. And I'm going to have to defend myself more. But, you know, I want to get this... I want to get this stuff going, so... Hey, if I get attacked more, I get attacked more. Whatever, you know? Alright, there we go. And put that stuff up there. Alright, and then take one of these lead. And lead and iron. Steel alloy. When these are done, I'll put, I'll put in the steel alloy. It'll be good to go. And then we'll be able to, we'll be able to have our steel spear. Let's see what we need to sharpen the steel spear. Because that's another thing I'm going to I'm gonna have to think about. Depends on what we need to make it. Uh, it is right here. Stone planks. Oh, yeah, that's not that bad. The mechanical parts are a little annoying, but... Actually, what do you need to make mechanic? Uh, you know, I might be able to... I, is it an iron ingot, a mechanical part? Maybe it's not that bad. I don't know where I want to put this thing. Um, I don't know. I guess right here will be good enough for now. But, like, expand. Let's take a look. I'm really kind of curious on how you make a mechanical part. Yeah, iron ingot, advanced workbench. That, oh, yeah, that's another reason to get the advanced workbench. See right there? The plastic is gonna kill me. Um, copper, plastic, cobalt. You can make plastic, but you need the chemistry station to make the plastic. I'm not seeing the plastic. It should be in here, but I don't see it. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter, because I don't have the chemistry station anyway. I think it takes like 15 bark and like three oil or something like that. And I don't have the oil either. And I don't have the oil production. As you can see here, I am going to start thinking about working on spikes. And I think we're going to move these a little bit farther out. Doesn't lose anything doing that, right? No. Okay. Yeah, let's move these farther out so we have some more room for the spikes. I don't think you have to have these within your base. I don't think they'll be attacked, although I don't know for sure. It could be something I... Uh, might want to think about, but yeah, I, I don't think I don't think they're attacked. I mean, I've been attacked a few times. I haven't seen them attack those machines yet. And oh, are we in? Uh, we're in spring. Cool. You know what? I don't have to make these in here. Then I will make those outside. And if we move this stuff right now, the crops die. So I got to keep those. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now nah, I'm gonna leave that. I, I was gonna delete the roof. But nah, we'll, I'll leave the roof there, and I'll just I'll just deal with the water. No big deal. All right, let me fill these crops up and make that steel alloy. This is pretty cool because we're gonna have a steel spear for the next fight, which is awesome. Uh, what is this at? Sixty-seven percent, eighty-one. All right, I'll drop this. We'll put the bone spear down here. The steel spear will also last a lot longer, which is uh, the steel spear is the the bomb, man. It really is. My favorite weapon in the game. Steel spear. Oh, we need more sticks. Okay, and plant fiber. Fair enough. Two. And grab some plant fiber. And that should be enough. Missing items. Steel spear tip. Oh, <laughs> I never made this spiel. The steel spear tip. There we go. Okay. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Beautiful. Yeah, boy. This thing should tear them up. Let's go ahead and delete this stone axe. These spikes probably won't do anything, but who knows? Maybe the enemy will be dumb enough to walk into them. 
I'm going to make them. Now, if you're going to make spikes, you don't want to bother with the wooden spikes. Now, you have to make the wooden spikes and then upgrade them. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to upgrade them. I think I need to make an upgrade hammer or something. But you don't want to make the regular spikes because they just break down, like, instantly. They, they, they just melt away. So let's see what we need for the upgrade hammer. Uh, it can be crafted, used to repair. No. Uh, I don't see the upgrade hammer. Uh, no, really. I don't, oh, there. Well, the first one, obviously. All right. So a stick and an iron ingot. Okay, we can do that. Stick in an iron ingot. And, of course, it was the first tool, right? Oh, I don't have any, No, I have room for it. Never mind. There we go. We're also going to need a lot of rope. And... What else? Oh, yeah, sticks. Let's grab a bunch of sticks. And I'm only going to make, like, three of them, because we're going to be attacked pretty soon. See, now these only have 100 hit points. But, if you upgrade them... Takes 20 iron fragments per uh, per spike, which is really expensive. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Super expensive. But what are you gonna do? Here we go. Now they go to 500 hit points. Now the enemy's just gonna run around these, so this isn't for this, you know, specific fight. But you know, uh, we will have them for a future fight. I gotta keep make sure these things grow, and then get these crop plots outside. These grow plots, whatever you want to call them. I also should put a door back here. I think when I move these outside, I'm going to put a door right here. Because this is what I got going on over here. This is going to be a three-wide thing going across the river. And then on each side, well, three, four, five, six, seven, three. Three on each side. Maybe even more. I don't know. It's going to be big. You need to make big stuff in this game, though. Because uh, uh, the thing about this game is the, the stuff you, like have to hold like the, the the ingot shelves take up a lot of room you need a lot of room in this game is what i'm trying to say so i don't have an exact idea how i want to do it over there but i've got a plan and we are waiting for the light value to get to 10 at this point uh you know and i think right now it's just kind of keep the iron going for the time being <laughs> And I might as well make some more spikes, I guess. I don't see why not. Or at least place them down. Place down the ghost images. That. There we go. Put that there. And there. And there. And there's other things we could put behind the spikes, like this barbed wire fence. I don't know if this is a good idea. Honestly, I don't remember how to do defenses in this game, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm going to put some of these back here as well. And you just kind of line them up as best you can. And I think three of these will be fine. And for these, we're going to need... Uh, hold on. Come on, stop. Oh, goodness. Those are expensive. Those are super expensive. Okay, well, it is what it is, right? I'm not even going to finish these these uh, spikes over here. I'm just going to work on that fencing. Uh, that fencing is specifically designed to deal with boss mobs, uh, which is going to be something we're going to want to do. I'm also going to gather a lot more sticks. So my protein's really low, and I do have a raw liver from that uh, from that wolf I killed earlier. The nice thing about raw livers is it starts upping your max health and max st stamina, which is really nice. I'm going to let the rest of this meat go bad, though. Empty. No, no, empty this. Do this. We're just cooking up a bunch of water as well. And I think it's time to make some iron ingots here. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just do all of them. The hell with it. Because we're going to need iron ingots for those fences. I didn't know it was three iron ingots per fence. Man, that's expensive. Woo wee. Now, what I'm going to do with this, with this meat is I'm just going to let it go bad. Trying to, I'm starting to let some of my food go bad because I need to run those extractors. And, um, yeah, I think, I think, I'm thinking next episode we might go for a greenhouse. I usually don't go for a greenhouse this early in the game because the idea of the greenhouse is once you lay down all of your farm plots, you don't really want to move them again. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You don't really want to move them again. But at the same time, 
I think it's time to make a greenhouse. Uh, and if I have to move it again later, then so be it. Because the greenhouse will mean I don't have to move these plots around anymore. Okay, so we are getting really close to game time. So I need to get this stuff cooked up. Alright. That. Alright, cool. We should be ready shortly. In case it's not completely obvious, I'm going to be trying out new base defenses today. New base defense ideas or setups or whatever. And the first one is I'm going to jump on the roof and try and stay out of range and see if I can kill him with the bow. If that doesn't work, then I will try, you know, to maybe try and get him to kill themselves on these on these defenses here. Yeah, beautiful. And if those don't work, then I'll just I'll just stab with my spear. I don't think they're going to kill themselves on these defenses, but there's a chance they might be dumb enough to try and walk into some of them. All right, here we go. They should be coming in. I just don't know from where. Seeing anybody just yet. Sometimes they take a few seconds to come in. I think they usually come from this direction. And I did save the game, so if they... St I'm, I'm afraid they're going to tear down the building underneath me. And if they do that, I can always reload. Alright, guys. Where the heck are ya? Not seeing anybody yet. Hello? Hmm. You know, strangely enough, them not seeing them is making me more, you know, nervous than seeing them. I wish they'd come in because the light value is going up more as it, as it is. What the heck? Come on, guys. Oh, I heard them. I didn't see them, though. Okay, so they're going to tear down the building. So I don't think this, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, there they are. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, did you still my door? How dare you, sir? All right, yeah, this isn't gonna work. All right, you guys. All right, come over here. I'm gonna try and see if I can get in the run on the spikes. All right, and ow. Ow. Come on, yep, they're not gonna run on the spikes. Okay, all right, after the reload, I came back up on top. Now, I'm not sure, like, the problem with what, the problem with my defense was that they got inside my base. Did they get inside my base because I left the door open, or what? I'm not sure. We're gonna kind of test this out again. I'll reload again if I have to. Nope, they can open my door. Okay, so why are the enemies allowed to open my door? Can we, can we get, like, locks or something? Alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy. There you go, and you're done. Okay. Yeah, can we get locks on our doors? I mean, if they're gonna... Ooh. I like the fact that they're dropping health kits. If they're gonna be, like, opening our doors, we should be able to get locks. Like, that makes sense, right? I, I mean, I wouldn't think they would be able to open our doors. That's kind of weird. The, the loot is pretty good, though. I do appreciate that. Alright, so that's cool. So, we, um, we did kill one with the bow, but, again, if they can open my doors, none of this is gonna work. I uh, just got to figure something out about that. <laughs> but overall, though, that was a pretty successful um, horde horde night, horde day, horde attack. Yeah, horde attack. So, you know, I'll take it. I'll take the win when I can get it. Oh, we got another animal here to kill. Beautiful. I killed one of these guys off camera. I'm glad to have another one. Look at that. Freaking one shot, baby. Problem is I don't have any way to get him around because uh, all my log slides are filled. Because we're going to be doing some building. All right. Well, that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go ahead and start pouring these logs into these building pieces, and then we will go get that guy. I think next episode... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next episode, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. It'll probably be... Well, it's definitely going to be either a building episode or a loot run episode. I'm not really sure which. By the way, can you go underwater in this at all? Oh, so you just walk across this. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm cool with that. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're going to be... And you really need to find that, uh, that chemistry station. But, honestly, if I don't have a power system, the chemistry station doesn't help much. The chemistry station, the main thing I'm going to use with the chemistry, chemistry station is I'm going to use it to make plastic. And I'm going to need a lot of oil to make plastic. And in order to get a lot of oil, I'm going to need to, um, get the oil extractor. In order to get the oil extractor, I'm going to need at least five, uh, five wind turbines up. I like the wind turbines better than the... Uh, I don't know why I can't pick that up. I like the wind turbines better than the uh, solar panels because the wind turbines work all the time. 
they give you half the power, but in order for the solar panels to be useful, you kind of want to have batteries. Otherwise, you're not going to have any power at night. So, yeah. I mean, and in order to make the wind turbines, I'm going to need 50. I'm going to need 50 aluminum. This is my aluminum box. I cannot think about a power source until this thing's full. And even then, that's only going to be 40. So, you know, it's, it's going to be rough, dude. Like, I, I think he's going to have to look into the balance a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Because, um... Man, it's going to take a long time to get what I need. Although, maybe hey, maybe that's what he wants. Maybe he wants it to take a long time. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? Let's just put these in here. We're going to go ahead and make a bunch of... A bunch of iron ingots. Cool. Put the rest up here. And that's looking good. All right. We got the ammo. Oh, yeah, the meat. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm really trying to get some spoiled food going. That's, you know, that's what I need. I, I will eat the livers. Uh, should I eat the bacon? See, I don't know what bacon is going to give me. I'm going to need a piece of bacon, too. That's... Okay. Let's cook this up and see what I'm going to get from the bacon, stat-wise. There, there. Cool. Now, you can use the drying racks, but I prefer to cook stuff. So these have all got to be picked. And then put in the box to spoil. Unfortunately, they do take up a lot of room. Ugh. All right, I need more boxes. This isn't going to work. All right, I'm just going to use these boxes. And I'll just put them over here sloppily for now. And kind of organize them later. Alright. Let's get rid of this. Uh, there we go. I got enough. I got enough spoiled food to make another five biofuel, which is good. That will be quite helpful. And oops. Oh, so that one's not ready. I'll plant these later as well. You may be thinking, Cage, you got to plant those. I will. I'll plant them later. You know, what? I'm gonna eat a couple of them too. I have been uh, starting to eat my emergency rations. Oh, crap. See? See what happened? I ate without washing my hands. Son of a bee. I don't know how to cure that either. Um, eat potato or egg. I think I have potatoes. Yep, there we go. Wow, a potato cures that? Very good. Very good. Now let's try not to get sick again. I can't believe I did that. Well, actually, I can. Oh, shoot. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Forgot about these. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, cooked bacon doesn't really do... Wow. That's actually pretty garbage. But this gives me the health and the stamina, which is what I really want. All right. Let's go ahead and put this out. And let's go do some more building. Take this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these iron ingots, to be honest. I'm just going to kind of hold on to them for now. I'm not making any more... Uh, I'm not making any more of these... Of these mineral extractors, because I'm not going to have enough... I'm not going to have enough power to keep them going. So, it is what it is. That one's almost down, so we could take this one. And this one. And we'll leave that other one holding the stone. Because it's going to be out before it fills up, so that's fine. Also, did these things take any damage? No, that's good. Good. Um, Alright, nothing here took damage. Very, very nice. Very nice. Alright, let's continue uh, building. It's time to take as many planks as I can. And yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next episode. Usually I, I make my decision that day. Or read the comments and see what you guys have to say about it. So if you have anything to say about it either way, let me know in the comments. But as of right now, next video will be either a loot run video or a major building episode. Uh, what I need to do is I need to uh, I need to just stop. And I need to keep getting spoiled food, turning into biofuel, keeping the extractors running, and continue working on getting aluminum. And there's not much I could do to make that any faster. So it is what it is. Six and six. And there we go. Put 
put these in here. There we go. So this will be a three wide. All right. And it's going to be a, a bridge going across the water. And then there's going to be a major base on this side. And there's going to be a major base on the other side. And that's just the way it's going to go. I don't know how I'm going to make the major base because honestly, this, this rock formation might start to cause me issues, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see how many how many foundations I can come out without that being an issue. Okay, so I could probably go to about there. Oh yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty. Water starts right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it works for me. I might want to actually bring it back one spot. Um, I think I could actually bring it back one spot and leave it like that. And then just make a big major platform out here and, you know, go from there. All right, what I'm going to need now, though, is I'm going to need a stairs right over here, just like a temporary stairs. Why can't that go? Why can't I get that to go? Oh, because of this thing? Get out of here. All right, stairs. There we go. Okay. I think today's been a pretty, pretty successful episode. I've got a lot done and I've not died. I mean, that's about all you can ask for. The game's nowhere near as easy as it used to be. And, you know, that's fine. We will adjust. But um, I'm very happy with the way things are going right now. I, I think uh, I'm going to have a very important decision on what to do next episode. And we'll just kind of see how it goes. Either way, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.